رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنمى رمضان تجلى I recently started practicing Islam and taking it more seriously. How should I make up the fasts for the previous 10 years which I have missed? Good question. First of all, the days that you have missed are one of two. Either you decided from night time not to fast tomorrow, meaning that a lot of the Muslims simply don't have the intention to fast. So they don't fast the whole month or 10 days or one week or whatever. They don't even bother by eating suhoor, the pre-dawn meal, and fast half of the day. They don't fast to begin with. Or a person fasted a couple of hours or so and then broke his fast. So these are two different scenarios. If the 10 years that you have skipped, if you were from the first scenario, meaning that you were so neglectful, you were so heedless that you didn't even intend to fast tomorrow. So tomorrow is the first day of Ramadan. Tomorrow is the 10th day of Ramadan. Who cares? I'm not fasting. You go to bed intending not to fast. You wake up not fasting, eating and drinking and whatever. If this is the case, then you cannot make up for these 10 years. <gasps> what do you mean, Sheikh? Well, actually, Allah Azza wa Jal has instructed you to fast and gave you a time limit to fast. And you skipped fasting intentionally without any legitimate reason. In this case, you cannot make up for the missed days. Likewise with prayer, by the way. Allah Azza wa Jal has prescribed upon us to pray dhuhr from this particular time where, when it begins and it finishes at the time of Asr, during which I didn't pray. Why didn't you pray? Well, I was at my work, at my desk working. Then we had a couple of um, conference calls. Then we had a meeting with the boss. Then I was too lazy. It's like half an hour to prayer. I don't feel like praying now. And the Adhan was called. And all of a sudden, I said, oh, I have, did not pray dhuhr. Astaghfirullah. I'm going to pray it now. No, no, don't bother. You can't. Oh, I can't? Yes, you can't. And if you do, Allah will not accept it. Come on, Sheikh. What is the concept of qaza? In Arabic, it's qada. So what's the concept of qaza? Making it up. Hey, making it up. When you have a legitimate reason such as oversleeping or forgetfulness. I always pray on time. Dhuhr prayer was called. Khalas, okay, in 10 minutes, I'm going to go to the masjid and pray. I started on, on my email. I got a few phone calls. I met my boss. I totally forgot Dhuhr prayer until Asr was then given. <clears throat> wow, I didn't pray. Wallahi, I forgot. I can make it up because I have a legitimate reason. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever oversleeps upon a prayer or forgets it, must pray it as soon as he remembers it. There's no expiation for that. Now, listen carefully. Must pray it as soon as he remembers it. There's no expiation. Expiation for what? Forgetfulness and oversleeping are already exempted by Allah Azza wa Jal. رَبَّنَا لَا تُؤَخِذْنَا إِنَّ نَسِينَا وَاخْطَأْنَا Do not uh, 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 hold us accountable if we forget or err, make an error. And also the Prophet said that the pen is uplifted from those who, are, who is asleep until he wakes up. So there's no sin on me. Yes, yet the Prophet said there's no expiation for what was done except to pray it as soon as you remember. Which means that if you're neither sleeping nor forgetting, then you cannot pray it, you cannot make it up. And I'll give you a third example. When do people go to Hajj in Arafah? 
answer is on the 9th of the Hijjah. All go to Arafah, which is a pillar of Hajj. I come from my country, wearing my ihram. On the seventh day, two days before Arafah, I'm eager and I'm happy. I go to the customs. They look into my passport. They check my visa and they see that there is some mistake in it. They detain me for four nights, frustrated, hurt, angry. On the fourth night, they say, now you can leave. We've rectified the mistake. We've checked with the embassy. It's authentic. You can go. So now it is the 11th of the Hijjah. Every single pilgrim is in Mina. So immediately from the airport, I go to Arafat, to Mount Arafat. Not a single soul is there. So I stay there. And what are you doing? I'm performing Hajj. Excuse me? Yeah, but I was detained for four nights. What, what do you expect? Akhi, but Hajj is on the 9th of Arafah. I know, but what do you want me to do? I came all the way. So I have to, ah, sorry, no can do. Because Hajj is prescribed at a specific time. And you've missed the time. Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ كَانَتْ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ كِتَابًا مَوْقُوتًا that verily prayer was prescribed upon the believers at specific times. If you miss the time, you miss the prayer. I'll make it up. You don't have a legitimate reason. It's gone forever. Fasting was prescribed in Ramadan. If you come a month earlier and say, hmm, Sha'ban is a good month. I'm going to fast Ramadan in Sha'ban. Does it work? Definitely not. If you say this Ramadan, I have a lot of football matches, tennis tournaments. I'm a sportsman. I'm not going to fast Ramadan. I'm going to shift it to Shawwal. It doesn't work, Akhi. It's not up to me and you. It is specifically set at a particular date. You miss it. No legitimate reason. Bid it farewell. It's gone. Scenario number two. I woke up with the intention of fasting. I had suhoor last night and I'm tending to fast. 10 o'clock, God, I'm hungry. Looked right, looked left, no one is watching. Opened a can of tuna fish. Put some lemon, some salt, black pepper, maybe a little bit of onions. Excellent. Some bread and a glass of milk. And I consumed this meal. I broke my fast. After Ramadan, I regretted it. Sheikh, can I make up that missed day? Or am I considered to be like our friend who missed the 10 years without any legitimate reason? In your case, you have to make up. He objects. What's the difference between me and him? Ah, I'll tell you the difference. The difference is that he started the worship. And he broke it intentionally. He has to make it up. Because he started it. You on the other hand did not even intend to start it. So it's gone. The time is gone. It's missed. So as a punishment for him. He has to make up what he broke. Any ibadah that you break. You have to make it up. If a person was in hajj. In his ihram. One of the things that are restricted for him before uh, uh, the day of Arafah is to have intimacy with his spouse. If he has intimacy with his spouse, if he has intimacy with his spouse in his ihram, his hajj is invalid. He has to sacrifice a camel or a cow. He has to continue this present hajj. And next year, he has to perform a new hajj because this hajj was totally invalid. Capiche? So it's the same thing. This guy... He broke his fast, he has to make it up. This guy did not fast, nor intend to fast to begin with, then he cannot make that up. And I hope this explains things to you.